So no waffle in this one, no talking head segment, just raw information. First of all, go to the effects library in the top left corner of your screen, then go to the effects and then select a new fusion composition and drag the new fusion composition onto your timeline, just like so. Or if you wanna do this effect straight on a video file, just put the video file on your timeline, right click the video file, select new fusion clip. So now with the new fusion composition, just hop straight into the fusion page. If you've selected a plain fusion comp, this is what you should see. However, if you selected a video file, let's just pretend that this background is my media in one. Let's just rename that to not confuse you. So this is media in one. So this is what you should see when you're using an actual video file. Your media in one, which is basically the video file and then your media out one, which brings everything back to the edit page and the color page. But now how do we start to create custom energy effects? First of all, we're gonna need a background and this background determines the color of our energy effects or energy lines. Connect the output of background one with the output of media in one to create merge one. And now let's change the color of this background one to more of a teal. So something like that should work fine. So now we have just a plain teal background, but how do we get custom energy lines from that teal background. And this is where the masks come in. First of all, we can use this rectangle mask or the ellipse tool or the polygon tool. However, you could also use this B-spline tool, but I'm not gonna show you that. I think you will get the idea with those three nodes. First of all, let's start out with the rectangle one. Connect the output of rectangle one into the blue input of background one. And as you can see now in the viewer, we have a teal rectangle. So now we only want the outlines from that teal rectangle to appear. So let's select the rectangle one, go to the inspector and then uncheck solid and increase the border width ever so slightly. Now you can also give that some nice soft edge, something like this. So right now we have our outlines, but how do we make that wobble as it was an energy effect? First of all, we're going to need a displace node for that. So let's select the background one, hit shift spacebar and type in displace. So add the displace node. In the displace node in the inspector, we want to change the type from radial to X and Y. And now all of those controls come up. So the X channel is currently set to red and the Y channel is currently set to green. You can change that however you want, but let's just leave it at that to not confuse you. So now we need some info how the displace node should behave. And this is where we need the fast noise node. So let's go to our toolbar and the node right next to the background node is the fast noise node. Just click and drag and put that into our timeline and connect the output of fast noise one into the green input of displace one. So nothing's happening because we have to make some changes on the fast noise one. So let's hit one on our keyboard to bring up the fast noise one in our first viewer. First of all, we have to change the detail, otherwise it wouldn't look very good. So let's select the fast noise one, go to the inspector in the top right corner and increase the detail slider, something like that. Uh, then what we wanna do is increase the contrast as well. So it looks something like this. Then what we wanna do is, if you can remember, the displaced one node is the X channel is set to red and the Y channel is set to green. So we have to change the colors of our fast noise node accordingly. Now select the fast noise node once again, go to the second tab, which is a color tab, and let's make the first channel a red, and we can leave the alpha channel completely down. Now go to the second channel and reduce the red channel and reduce the blue channel to only have the green channel left. So this is what you should see. Then if we go to this place one, we now have the X refraction and the Y refraction. And if we change that, watch what happens in the second viewer. It starts to displace. Now let's change the Y refraction, something like this. But if we hit play right now, it just stays static. And this is not what we want because energy is not static. Energy is like wobbling around. So let's go back to our fast noise one node, then go back to the noise tab and increase the seeth rate ever so slightly, something like that. And to make it more natural looking, just select discontinuous. And right now, if we hit play, we're almost there. So we already have those wobbling lines. And by the way, if you increase the seeth rate even more, those wobbles get faster. Something like that should look very good. But now we're missing some glow. So let's select the displace one node, hit shift spacebar and type in soft glow at the soft glow node. And in the soft glow node, you can leave it 
at the default settings if you're happy with that. I would suggest to increase the glow size just a little bit and reduce the blend mode. Something like that. Then increase the gain just a little bit, something like that. And now it's looking pretty good. And the good thing about that, it is completely interchangeable. Once you've set up this whole node tree, everything here, whatever you connect in here will be displayed. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to disconnect the rectangle one and connect the ellipse one. So as you can see, it's not looking very good unless you want a background energy blob. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the ellipse tool, go to the inspector in the top right corner, again, uncheck solid, increase the border width just a little bit, give it some soft edge. You can even increase this just a little bit more. And now we have an ellipse energy effect. That's pretty cool, right? Or if you want to have even more control about the points that you're creating or the energy lines, you can just use the polygon tool, just connect the output of the polygon one to the background one. So with the polygon tool selected, I can create whatever shape or form that I want my energy lines to be. Let's go with something like this. And then let's maybe whatever, you know, then nothing's happening because we have to increase our border width ever so slightly and increase our soft edge just a little bit. You can even increase this a little bit more. And right now, if I'm gonna hit play, you can see that the energy stays roughly the shape that I've created. So this is how easy it is to set up custom energy effects inside of DaVinci Resolve.